to the end of the pier and these are the boats the ferries are a lot cheaper for 30 baht from Bataya to Koh Line I think it's about a 40 minute boat ride we just boarded the boat I'm trying to get our seating and then we'll be taking the 40 minute boat ride to Koh Line, Coral Island so we still have a little while before the boat departs so right now we're gonna go to the top deck just to scope it out a lot of people on the top deck. We're almost arriving at Kolan Island over there in the distance. Should be arriving in about five ten minutes. about to arrive right now on Coral Island, I don't know as Coral Island Ireland. Been about a 30 to 40 minute boat ride. Just arrived, now, now we're waiting to get off the boat. We just got off the boat and made it to Coral Island, otherwise known as Coral Island. So right now we're gonna spend the day here and explore the island. So over here it seems like they also have a bunch of shipping containers. Just unloading stuff right now, like water and other stuff. Pretty busy port. <laughs> so there's a bunch of like shops here as well. So you see like Cafe Amazon, 7-Eleven. Bunch of food and drink shops. Oh, there's so many motorcycles too. I believe you should be able to get motorcycles for rent here as well. And the Lunar New Year just passed, so they had some lanterns hung up. Pretty windy here, so hopefully you guys are able to hear me through all that wind noise. So we're walking around, hold on, motorcycles everywhere. Like I said, you should be able to rent some motorcycles. Not sure how big the island is, but it should be pretty walkable. Some of the uh, local Thai seafood. You can also book your attractions. You can do snorkeling, you can do like, parasailing. Mango sticky rice. So we are walking towards the place that we're staying. I believe we're staying here on the island for one night. Trying to find our spots to drop all the luggages. So we just got to the spot staying here at Santosa Resort. Right now we're heading to the room. The resort seems pretty nice. We have sea view. Oh wow, so we also have breakfast inclusive. This is breakfast area. Ocean view. All right, so we just got to our room. Very cute. And the hotel provided a little guide to Kolarn Island. So an overview of how to get to Kolarn. Here's the island. There are a few different beaches. And we're staying here at Santosa Resort right here. The different beaches. We also have uh, the different bars and restaurants as well. It also did say if you want to get around, you could walk, you could ride a motorcycle, you could take a taxi or the bus. Renting a motorcycle is pretty affordable. It costs 300 baht, 
if returned by 12 p.m. the next day or 200 baht if returned by 6 p.m. the next day. So all the rooms are upstairs. From the rooms, we have this nice view overlooking Pattaya in the distance as well as the beach. We are already in our beach wear to just walk around and tour Kolai. So we are walking around exploring. I'm not too sure how big the island is but wifey says this reminds her of her hometown in India where all the houses are kind of close by each other. So the plan is we're gonna walk around, probably get some drinks, maybe some snacks, some food. So we found this food store on the corner. We're gonna try some of the local Thai food. Here's the menu. It's funny how they have your pig, chickens, so and you just point what meat you want. You don't have to know Thai, and it shows you the photos as well as the prices. Everything's pretty affordable, 60 baht. Also, there's a map of some of the attractions here in Kolan Island. We also have the Thai noodles, these are Thai bread noodles. Alright, got us some noodles. I just need only one magnet. I'll touch powder from the Thai papaya salad. So just finished, food was good. Right now we're just walking along these alleyways. So you can even come to your convenience store, like buy veggies and stuff, vegetables, fruits. And there's a lot of uh, motorcycles going along these little alleyways. Over here they make more food, you get your noodles. So yeah, all these alleyways, motorcycles, your best mode of transportation, little motorcycle mopeds. Temples. There's also these mini bus shuttles. So there's a few beaches, so I uh, think my aunt knows which beach is the best one. And you have to go around and talk to people, haggle in price, see how much they're willing to take you to the beach for a good price. Look at this grilling meat and sausages. So many other options here. Like a mini night market over here. We're also craving a good mango smoothie. Let's see if we can get some mango smoothie from here. We're gonna buy one of these trucks. That's okay, stay on the back. Enjoying the ride. There are a few stores over here selling drinks, ice cream, snacks. 
We'll walk around all the way over there. We do jet ski. They also have jet skis for rent. The water is really blue here and like I said there are quite a few different beaches. This is one of them that has less people out here. Bunch of beach doggos out here. Just hanging out. This is their land. So here's this little map of quite a few of the beaches. If I'm not wrong this one I think is Stone Long Beach. Right now we're gonna walk along all the way over there to the beach where there's more sand. Pretty clear. Doc is hanging out over here, living his best life by the beach. So over here, you can kind of play with the sand and hang out in the sun. A little floaties if you need it. So over here, right by the sand. And if you want to get activities like the jet ski, you want to do parasailing. They all have packages, banana boat, all have packages right here you can do. So it took a little dip in the water, felt pretty good. Right now I'm just gonna walk to that spot over there. A lot more people. There's also some goose just waddling around. So yeah, this is a good spot to like to take photos and videos. So let's go ahead and check it out. So that's our time. I think we're gonna head back. I'm setting soon, and after a certain time, you just don't get any more buses back. So let's go ahead and head back. So we're heading back right now, back in the truck. Wow, that's mango sticky rice. They may have the one. Okay. He's been wanting mango sticky rice. We finally got it. Happy girl. So right now we're gonna walk around the night market, see what other food and snacks that they have. Wow. 
A lot of seafood here right by the ocean. And besides getting a food stall, you can also just dine right there on the side by the beach. There's a lot of food options. Oh, look options. at the cat. Chilling. Look at that cat. Mommy. Oh, That's a food. Oh, looks pretty Thank good. You. Shrimp? An egg? What is this? Ah, uh, crab. Crab so just tried this earlier, so good. And so many different food stalls. Spoil for options. Oh, this looks pretty good too. Mango smoothie. So the whole family got some mango smoothies. Apparently there's the normal way with just mango and ice and then the Thai traditional way with condensed milk, syrup, mango and ice. So right now there's also a bunch of other foods. I really want to get some food. And try some of the street food here. We got some of these. We got it's kind of like a wonton, and they put like some Thai chili. So let's go ahead and try it out. That's how it looks. So right now we're just heading back to the hotel to freshen up, take a shower, change clothes, and then we'll come out again to try some of the local street food delicacies. Temple. They're walking back towards a hotel. All these narrow lanes, you see a lot of motorcyclists. And motorcycles are not too bad, but sometimes you see trucks, sometimes you see bigger vehicles trying to squeeze through these narrow roads. Ooh, roti kolarn. Alright, so just go back to the hotel, freshen up, took a shower. Right now, we're heading back out to grab some dinner.